This is from the very first CD, and uh, I've got I've got it here. Yeah, the first CD that I ever that I ever made. Um, I was in a duo called Sugar and Silk. It was me and my buddy from uh, from college called Danny Sugar, um, and we had some success with this. Actually, uh, we had a lot of uh, we had a lot of radio play in the UK. Um, this was a release on again someone you right, might remember, you might know, um, Time Warp Records, which is. Oh, yeah. uh, Bill Shannon, of course, you probably you probably come across Bill at some point. Absolutely. Um, so he signed us uh, to Time Warp when we were when we were just kids. We were just pretty much still in college. We put this record out. Um, this Prince of Persia was um, was one of Robbie Vincent's favourites back then, which was just mind blowing for us because mm. obviously Robbie Vincent was a bit of a yeah. god back then, when, you know, right. and still is, you know. Indeed. Um, but uh, but yeah, so he 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 latched onto this track and used to play it. Um, and yeah, so let's it, play this for you right now. To, yeah, yeah, play it. Listen, and to it. I uh, heard it we're gonna, we're gonna play years. this. Yes, it's been been a while. Uh, my special guest is Ollie Silk. We are streaming live on Solar Radio's group page. Uh, how you doing, everybody? And we are live on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, make sure that uh, you know you subscribe and share it around, and uh, you can see Ollie. Give give everybody a wave, Ollie. If Hello, you're li- everybody. <laughs> if you're listening on the, uh, the Solar Radio app uh, and you want to just kind of hop over to Solar Radio's group page and see our streaming show, you can do that right now. We are live. My special guest, Ollie Silk, on the show today, and he's going to be playing live as well. That's going to be really fun, and I may even tootle along.
my special guest on the program today is the incredible Mr. Ollie Silk, and that is a track uh, called Prince of Persia, one of Robbie Vincent's favourites uh, back in the day. Love that, man. That's a, that's a great track. And Thank of you. course, Thank you, you. A, a little bit rawer and, and kind of a kind of harder edge to uh, some of the stuff that's that's out now. Uh, really like that track. And it came about 15 years ago. This one, right? No, this was uh, it's actually 21 years ago now. So I guess so, uh, I guess I was raw back then. I've just softened with age. You could say you become smooth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fantastic. I mean, I've, I've got to tell you, uh, Ollie. I mean, I, I mean, obviously, some of your main influences, uh, from what I can hear from your music, have obviously got to be Jeff Lorber. Uh, but you know, what what other influences do you think you've had that's really shaped the kind of the way your music sounds today? Oh, um, good question. Well, I, I guess as well as Jeff Lorber. Joe Sample and the Crusaders were a big uh, influence on me um, and his his keyboard playing piano approach. Um, I th- who else is there? Man, there's so many. Even, um, well, George Duke, obviously, one of my favourites. Um, Greg Fillingaines, one of my favourites. Um, let me think, who else has influenced me? I've got a list of them here, actually, on on the album that we just heard from. Um, I'm, I, I remember I listed all my all my in- influences. Oh, yeah. George Howard, Donald Fagan, Michael Jackson, Herbie Hancock, Temperton, Bob James, Stevie, of course, Marcus Miller, Stanley Clark, Weather Report. You know what I'm saying. Those guys, they're all right, aren't they? They yeah, weren't yeah, bad. I, but that's a pretty good list. Uh, uh, certainly a man <laughs> of taste. And, uh, you know, I mean, if you'd say, but who would you think the main guy would be, though? Would you say it was, you know, maybe the Crusaders? <laughs> Because I know you did a Crusaders track, no, and we're going to be going to be playing that a little bit later on in the I'm program. I'm going to be playing a Crusaders track. Yeah. Oh, I mean, massive, massive fan of the Crusaders, Larry Colton, and and just that era of music. Um, but I just, I think it's got to be George Duke or Jeff Lorber. Really, I think probably Jeff Lorber has got to be the main man for me. Just, just his, his just his output in the late seventies, and while you know, whilst I was, whilst I was just a, a wee nipper through yeah. through the eighties was just massive man it's just it, it was the sound it, it is the sound for me it, it just never been it's never been rivaled i don't think fantastic let's play another track uh, from the album actually uh which would you say you know would you like to do now there's another great uh, quite a few great songs on here and we got some uh, featured really good featured artists as well uh, including you've got uh, vincent ingala on there how did you meet vincent it was probably on one of the gigs over here yeah, where did I first met? Uh, I first met Vincent probably on a, on one of the Dave Cos cruises, I would imagine. Um, but I've known Vincent for a number of years now. Um, I've I've played keyboards for him um, a few times on the cruises over in London and stuff like that. Um, he's a great kid. I mean, we get on like a house on fire, and, and we just it's been it's been a long time coming. I think um, getting together to do a track. Yeah, he's 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 so talented, multi talented. Um, and we are going to play yeah, that we track. Sit, we sit there and talk about production yeah. for hours and hours. We we will play that track actually. Uh, but uh, another track uh, on here is called "Call Patrice." Was that a tribute to Patrice Russian at all? Maybe on on. Uh, the... Yes, of course, and okay. of course that's uh, someone else who I was very heavily influenced yeah. by, who I forgot to mention on the list earlier. Yeah, but I actually got to jam with Patrice on one of the Dave Cos cruises a couple of years back, which was. Very, very insightful, daunting, but also uh, incredible experience. To, so, to with no further ado, let's play keyboards with her. Yeah, uh, and, and she's she's a wonderful lady, actually. Uh, she's been over here a few times. She did a session just recently on uh, my piano in uh, in our live room, which is real fun having her to actually play. Um, and uh, anyway, so let's play that right now. Uh, and then after that, we're going to come back and we're going to have Ollie playing live on the show as well. Really looking forward to it. My special guest is Ollie Silk. And this is a tribute to Patrice Russian. This is Patrice Russian, and if you're looking for the best sounds, you're in the right place with my man Mike Parlett on Solar Radio.
Very, de- very cool track indeed. Uh, my special guest on the program today is the amazing Ollie Silk. And uh, yeah, love Patrice. And of course, that one is called Patrice. Uh, called Patrice, actually. Uh, very nice track. Uh, it's kind of got a kind of a coder thing there. Is that right? Something that you were using? Uh, yes, it is actually. Yeah, it's a cross between a a, a sort of standard vocoder type thing. Um, there's a little bit of like a talk box with a tube thing in there. Yeah. Oh, there's another isotope you... plug-in thing in there. Yeah, it took me a while to sort of sculpt that sound, yeah. but uh, yeah, we're, 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 I was just playing around with. It. I thought that's bit the start of, of the bit track of right Peter, there, Peter that Phantom bit. there, a little bit of Peter Frampton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Love that. Uh, do you actually sing? Are you a singer as well? Can you do you ever sing on any no. of your gigs? Uh, well, yeah, no, I do, do I sing on any of my gigs? I think the only gig I've ever sung on is a Dave Cos gig when we were doing Barry Manilow and he made us all sing. And that was a that was a, that was a, a learning curve. But uh, other than that, I'll try and avoid it unless there's a vocoder involved. You played with um, Barry Manilow. Wow. What was we, it like? we, yeah, we opened for Barry yeah. uh, oh, on a couple of tours, right. um, which was great. I mean, wow. Yeah, we did all the big arenas. That was that was something else. Uh, what do you do? You compose any other kinds of music? Any other sort? Any other styles? Or is it just kind of more this? I smooth do. Jazz kind of well, I've got a I've got a gig, and I've had it for for probably about six years now. Um, making uh, music for uh, iPhone apps. Well, not just iPhone, but smartphone apps. Um, okay. In the kind of uh, in in the genre of casino games, slot machines, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I've I've made music for those for for many years. I used to work for uh, Zynga Games, who are quite a big player in that uh, department. Um, and now I'm just a freelancer for that. So yeah, I get I get to do all sorts of styles of music from uh, from, from from Japanese to Chinese, Irish, uh, Wild West music. I do epic stuff. Um, yeah, all sorts of things. I do like cutesy stuff, you know. Uh, and it's really nice, though. It's a, it's a great gig, and it's uh, uh, it's definitely got my production chops up. So that's cool. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, what we'd like to maybe try and do now is uh, see if we can get you to to play live on the show. Everyone can see you. Uh, that's a yeah. Let's just see if we can do that one second. Uh, but. You're back in. Okay. Yeah, very good. Uh, we got uh, Nick Hall is somewhere in a secret location and uh, he's, he's controlling the show today as well. Uh, so a uh, big shout out to Nick. Uh, thank you for doing a great job for us, Nick, and uh, uh, running the show as you do so well each week. Uh, we've been in kind of lockdown over here in uh, Los Angeles. We've, uh, we were literally on um, last night. We were, we were, there was a curfew. So we we couldn't actually go out and uh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was uh, quite an interesting uh, situation out there. But um, anyway, we are going to be using this wonderful platform called uh, Session Wire, and if we're very lucky, we may actually be able to get this to work. Uh, give us a little play there. <laughs> That's good for me. So we're actually going to do uh, a, a track from the album that he's going to play live. Uh, we're going to actually do uh, one of the tracks off there. Um, we're going to play now I can't live. Hear you, of course. <laughs> yeah, we're going to play live. Uh, Just can't resist. This is a great track, and uh, see if we can uh, do this for you. Uh, you should be able to hear me now. Uh, Just can't resist. We're going to play this for you. You want me to play, right? <laughs> I couldn't hear anything you said, Mike. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Right. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to play one from the new record. Okay. Keep your fingers crossed. This works. Here we go. Here we go.
this blowing along there. <laughs> very, very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, my very special guest on the program today is the incredible nice. uh, Ollie Silk. Thank you so much for playing for us, Ollie. Great to have you on the program. Uh, and uh, we, me and Ollie are going to see if we can do a little bit of a jam, uh, if we can get that I going. I can't hear you, Mike, but it looked <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie Silk, my special guest. Uh, we're going to see if we can unmute his mic. Uh, we've, got this, uh, so much. we've got some great stuff going. My special guest on the program today is Ollie Silke. You should be able to hear us. Thank you so much for that, Ollie. That's that's great. And Ollie was playing live, actually. I was. As, as were you, Mike. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I couldn't hear you, unfortunately, but uh, you, you look like you're having a good time. I, I was having a good time. Uh, I, <laughs> we'll, we'll see if we can do something. Actually, I, I do want to play another track for you. This is, uh, uh, this is an old track that you had off uh, a couple of albums ago where you took uh, a, a Crusaders song. Uh, and, yeah. uh, of course, the song was uh, Burning Up the Carnival. What made you decide to, to do that song? Oh, I wish. I, I, I mean, it's always been a favourite of mine. Um, of course, I don't know what. I don't know where, where I revisited it to kind of think I would do a cover. I think I remember seeing a version of it, of on YouTube, and it was uh, it was Layla Hathaway when she was very young, and it was Joe Sample, and it was um, Everett Harp on saxophone, and it was a it was a killing version, and I, it was from like Montreux or something like that, um, long time back. Um, and I just stumbled across it on YouTube and yeah, I just thought I just started jamming along with it. And I thought, yeah, I could I could do like a a slightly more a slightly more Stevie Wonder version of it because it's got like the, the version I do is like it's got a, a kind of Moog synth bass to it. So it's a it's a little bit more like uh, like too high or something like that, you know, that kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, and it's it's almost got a Jackson's vibe. I'd right. do it too so it's just a slightly different now, take on it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm, I'm, I'm going to see if we can do something very, I don't know if we can make this happen today but I am going to call uh, the original singer on this Josie James who sang uh, the original Crusaders version we're going to see if we can get her on the line as well wouldn't that be cool because I don't actually think you've spoken to her I've uh, no, I've never spoken to Josie. We're Facebook friends, but we've yeah. never actually chatted. So that would so we'll be nice, man. On. But this is off the album that you released in 2016. It's called Where I Left Off. Um, and uh, it, okay. it, it followed the other album, which I thought was very, very cool. I cannot believe that you did Raise a Sharp Brit in 2013. It's, I mean, it seems like it was last week. And it was Absolutely in 2013. Right. It's isn't crazy. That, isn't it scary? Uh, but uh, you did that. Raise a Sharp Brit was an album you did. And you had uh, Julian Vaughan on it, uh, Elan Trotman, Kristen Joy. And Ch even the great Chuck Loeb, who is sadly yeah. no longer with us any longer. Maybe so you can play a couple of tracks off there. But in the meantime, let's play this wonderful version. I absolutely love this version of Burning Up the Carnival. And of course, uh, this is uh, my very special guest on the program today, Ollie Silk, uh, featuring a great singer. Actually, tell us about the singer before we, before we, we spin this. Oh, this singer's Katie Leone. She's uh, she's uh, been with Incognito for many many years. I don't think she does Incog anymore, but that's where I where I uh, hooked up with her. In fact, I did a track. I, I produced a track with her and Down to the Bone. That's how I met her. That's, that's, um, we did it. We did a great that's... tune uh, a few years back. So I, I mean, she's she's just, she's effortless, beautiful.
burning up the carnival uh, and a wonderful version by my very special guest today is Ollie Silk uh, from the album Where I Left Off uh, and of course uh, that is a great album you've got six albums out today and of course uh, the brand new album uh, you can hold it up and show the people if they're watching our used, uh, restream video I uh, used to, hang on a second uh, we just have to switch that over to our page so you can see this album we're gonna there you go uh, we're making it happen we're gonna show it up there it takes a it takes a couple of minutes just to, to get the uh, the video swapped over uh, but uh, anyway we'll do that in a minute uh, we're, obviously we're we're lagging a little bit here uh, so uh, the album is called where I left off and um, it's, yes. it's, a, it's a great album why did you call it that because it had been a while since the last one, so I just kind of felt like the vi you know the vibe was just picking up where I left off, you know, um, just with the grooves and everything, you know, just it's just Ollie Silk, man. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, yeah, and of course, this uh, this current album is called <laughs> uh, Ollie Silk Six, uh, and, yes. and another uh, great album with some really great people on there. We got, um, uh, of course, we got uh, Kylie Minucci as well. How did you manage to get him and uh, Jeff Cashua? Uh, playing some very nice flute, I have to say. Um, really nice. I didn't know Jeff Cashew played flute so well. Yeah, I don't know if you can uh, cue that up for later, maybe, that track, because uh, I'm really proud of that one. Uh, it really came out well. Um, yeah, Jeff uh, came over to London last year with uh, Steve Cole. I played keys for them, and uh, that's really the... I mean, I knew Jeff played flute, but that was the first time that uh, I'd heard him play flute live and i was blown away just he's just a great player just a great feel um and so i when when he got back to to the states i, I dropped him an email and i said uh, would you like to play on this track um and he jumped at the chance he's a great dude man we have we have we have fun he uh he when he plays the flute he thinks he's ron burgundy from uh from, from the legend of Ron Burgundy from Anchorman he just he just you know he can he can he can flamethrow out of the flute and he yeah. can suck up martinis with it it's amazing <laughs> it's it's pretty amazing <laughs> I'm actually when I heard it I I, th I thought maybe that wasn't uh I, when you said it was Jeff Cashew I thought no that can't be Jeff Cashew and then I looked and it, indeed it was so at this point uh, what I like to do is spin this track and then afterwards we're going to come back and I'm going to have a little jam with you uh, on another track a really funky track uh, which we'll talk about um, by the way, the first track that we played uh, and you played live was a tune called Just Can't Resist. Uh, and if that is available, if you want to get uh, it's on the brand new album from my special guest, uh, Ollie Silk, and it is available. It's there. You can buy it. When is it? It's, it's available now. It came out on the 20th, right? It, no, it actually came out just Friday. So it's brand new. 29th it came out. Um, so uh, it's right up there. It's number one on the, uh, the Amazon bestseller ja on Jazz Chart. Uh, today which i was really really proud of and my mind is slightly blown because mm. it was ahead of like boney james and cory wong and all these guys so that was and nice so it be, um, so it but be. yeah if you haven't got it get it now. let's have a listen to this wonderful track this is uh, jeff cashua you're listening to my very special guest and when we're going to come back and play a little bit live on the program i want to say hi to a few people tuned in today uh we'll give some shout outs want to say hi to uh, Dave Thomas uh, tuned into the program today uh, quite a number of people that are watching our YouTube I'm going to give you a shout out all of you uh, so stand by and so don't forget to say hi to Sue as well so many people tuned in and of course Ollie will have some friends to say hello to as well sit back and listen to this
my very special guest uh, in the house, uh, all the way from Aldershot. He's in Aldershot right now, uh, coming live from his studio, the fabulous Mr. Ollie, Ollie Silk. Love that, man. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Yeah, man, I'm really proud of that cut. Uh, yeah, like I said, some Jeff nice, did a great some job. Some nice licks in there. I see that's better. I can hear you now. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Uh, can we actually? Right. Let's see if we can jam. But I feel like jamming with you today, man. Is that all right? Uh, I can. I can tell. Yeah. Let's let's see what we can do. Hold on a minute. Let yeah. me just uh, let me just shut this down to keep my 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 limited wi-fi bandwidth uh, as open as possible okay now what you're gonna have yeah, to is you uh, that track you sent me what you're gonna you're gonna play it my end so, so you're gonna send it to me and i'll jam along yeah. with you uh, uh, well, we'll i can't that. hear what you're doing but it's all right i can watch that's what okay you're yeah you can watch well yeah you, you, i can see when you're playing and i'll stop exactly so, so you send me yeah. the track from from your end uh, yeah. and and then i'll jam along and then you can play from your and that will that way we'll all be in time <laughs> we hope <laughs> so uh have you have you got that and if track? we're not we can blame the technology anyway yeah so that's well that's fine. right yeah. yeah have you have you got that track queued up there do you think i have just give me one second and it's and, on its way yeah and this is what what's this track tell them about this track oh this, this this is a track from um my limits the sky cd my second cd uh it's a it's a bit of an old favorite of mine i i haven't played it on my shows for a long time it's a nice groove uh, it features uh, Dwayne Smitty Smith on bass, yep. and Love it features him. Oscar Seaton on drums. Yep. Um, and uh, th there is a sax. I can't remember who played on it. Sorry, it's a long time ago. But uh, this one's called SOSOS. Here we go. Yeah. Give it a try.
was too much fun. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> too much fun. Too much fun. No, we're not allowed to have that much fun here on the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> what a great track. Uh, first time I played that. Um, great. Who is it? Uh, the saxophone player on there was? Was it Darren Ron? Oh, well, hang on. I think we are still... Uh, we are still coming to you live here on Solar Radio, your classical 21st century soul station. Uh, if you're watching our video stream, uh, we are coming to you live on our video stream, uh, jamming live and having a great time here. My very special guest on the program is the incredible Mr. Ollie Silk. Coming to you all the way from Aldershot in the UK, we are here on the West Coast of the United States, uh, coming to you from Talented Studios here in Los Angeles, California. My very special guest on the program is Ollie Silk. Hey, man, it was so much fun playing with you. That was cool, man. I, I can't wait to hear it back so I can hear what was going on. It was good. Know, it, 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 it was good. <laughs> Great solo as well. Uh, we were. And I have to tell you, we're using Session Wire uh, to stream all this here. Uh, Session Wire is a platform that allows us to play together, uh, and uh, Ollie can play into my studio in full quality with no signal loss whatsoever. Uh, and uh, we, I can basically record you onto my pro tools here and uh, you know we can do sessions together um we are trying to get around the you know the latency of the internet there's no way around that but uh, there are certain yeah. things we can do where we can actually kind of a appear to be playing live as we just did then uh, and uh, it was very we, we were playing live so we were. <laughs> uh, very very cool indeed uh, so if you want to check that out a little bit more go to sessionwire.com that's uh, session wire or one word dot com and uh, go and check it out it's a really great uh, music streaming platform for you uh, and ollie's obviously impressed with it so um i am i am i think i think it's it's yeah it's like indistinguishable isn't it really it's just it's like audio pure audio quality yes it great is. yep absolutely fantastic um we're going to play uh, another track off the album which uh, indeed we are doing here uh i didn't realize that darren ron could play like that yeah that track. i know awesome isn't it yeah, I thought he was a real smooth jazz guy, but he's playing a little bit of kind of kind of a fusiony type track here. Let's play this one. This is called "Stepping Out." It's another song that you wrote, and you write all most of your songs. You compose yourself. Well, do you? you know what? Funnily enough, I didn't write this one. This is an old George Howard uh, classic from 1985, uh, "Stepping Out." But yeah, all the all the rest of them are all you're, you're by me. Now yeah, let me ask this you this. Is, this is one I had to cover. I had to cover this one. Before I do, before we play this, I just want to ask you this question: um, When you sit down, and you're writing your music. How do you come up with your ideas? I mean, you know, you're you're at the piano. Give us a, you can play as well while we're talking, um, and uh, you know, just just maybe tinkle something. You can hear that, and and yeah, how would you come up with an idea? Yeah, how would I, I come up with an idea? You know what? Usually it would be. It would be the groove first, so it would be like get some drums up, um, you know, just get a good groove, some nice percussion going on, you know, and just, you know, that that's usually where the inspiration comes from. Um, if, but then I'd say like maybe thirty percent of the time, it will be a chord, it will be a chord sequence, so a chord progression that I just mess around with and come up with and be like, oh yeah, okay, that could work. You know, and then you know what it's like. You just, yeah. you know, you get on your sequencer and uh, lay a few tracks down. And it's obviously very raw. Um, it just create some, I just usually create some loops, like a like what I think might be a hook, 16 bars or something, and then uh, jam around it. And it just expands from there usually, you know. it's I don't usually write too too organically from the piano. You know, I certainly don't sit there with, with notation and, and actually write it out or anything like that. So it's usually based in production and uh, and grooves first of all very cool indeed uh, you know because I mean, I, a lot of people ask i want to say a shout out to some people listening today i want to say hi to uh Ber Ber bernard uh uh van de van de vandel and also want to say hi to anthony j carter listening to the program today uh we got a whole load of people logged on i want to say hi to everyone i want to say hi to linda in orpington i want to say hi to guy hurt bits uh, tuned into the program uh and also i want to say hi to tim lord and I want to say hi to uh, Janet Pitcher, uh, Sarah Bell, Tisha Tree, uh, and uh, Chris Boyce, Ilona uh, Fokova, and uh, Francoise, Sylvia, uh, Sue. I want to say hi to you, all you guys. Anyone, got anyone uh, you want to say hi to, Ollie? 
I, I, I don't really know who's listening, to be honest, Mike. But you what I got would any like friends. To say, you don't have any friends, do you? So, so okay. I don't have any friends. No, no, I'm locked away, man. I'm locked away. <laughs> what I would like to just say, and they might be listening, some of them, is just I want to shout out to the musicians from this latest record. You know, they're all so we're all so close. We're all such good buddies. But Orifo Rakwe, Wesley Joseph on the drums, Mark James on the guitar. What an absolutely outstanding rhythm section they have been. And we've been we've been jamming together for many years and we've been on many cruises and many jazz festivals. And they're they're just I, I you know, they, they just they complete me musically. Yes, of course. And I want to say to one of our big fans and he's one of your big fans, uh, Roy Handelman comes to a lot of your oh, gigs. Oh, Roy. You know, Roy, he's listening today. So say big shout out to him as well. Hey, Roy. Shout out to you, Roy. It's been a long time, buddy. But uh, yeah, you know, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be I'll be up in Santa Barbara to hassle you one day. <laughs> yes, we are. we're all going to go around Roy's ranch and, and go. And, uh, you know, when this is all over, we're going to go down there and have a, a giant big party. In fact, Roy, I think you should do a jazz festival at your ranch, man. Go over there and uh, play for you. Anyway, That's this is exciting. Slipping Out. Tribute to George Howard, one of my favourite saxophone players from back in the day. Listen to the Mike Parlage Radio Show here on Soda Radio, your classic of 21st century soul station. My special guest today is Ollie Silk.
<laughs> I love that lick. <laughs> yeah, a, man. That's a cool lick. Yeah, that's did, a great lick, man. That's a George, that's a George Howard special right there. Yeah, very, very cool indeed. Uh, that is uh, the tribute to George Howard. It's called Stepping Out. Uh, I believe he had an album out uh, called Stepping Out um, a few years ago. Uh, great, great uh, yeah. artist, George Howard. Sadly, very sadly missed. And uh, but Absolutely um, right, but Some man. great music, lots of albums. And really, the, the guy that made the soprano saxophone, um, you know, what the, the sound of the soprano saxophone should be. Oh, even, 100%, man. Even before, Kenny, even before Kenny G, I have to say. Yeah, I think Kenny G. Well, would, yeah, would, you know, <laughs> I mean, him, Grover, yeah. and Ronnie Laws for me were just like the three, the three greatest in the in that period. Yeah. My special guest on the program. We're having so much fun today. Uh, I want to say, everyone to say a big shout out to uh, uh, Ollie Silk, who is my special guest, and uh, we are playing live and uh, having a great time. And Ollie, uh, let's just talk about some of the other productions that you've done. Um, is there anyone that you've worked with or any, you know, maybe tracks that we can pull up that you may have produced, which are not under your own name, but somebody else? Uh, he's thinking he about it. Lost me. Am, I, am I still here? I am still here. Still I've here. Lo I, I lost. Uh, are you there, Mike? I'm, I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, good. Good. I'm back. I'm back. I don't know. What, I went away for a second there. Um, don't go away. Don't think. go what away. Did I, what do I do uh, production wise? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. You. Yes, yes. Um, I don't know if you can pull up. Uh, I did a I did a track that actually was a number one a couple of years ago uh, for a sax player named Michael J. Thomas. Oh. Um, and the track was called Baby Coffee. I don't know if you want to pull that one up. It's a big hit, man. Uh, nice tune. Uh, yeah, I worked on a few tracks on that album for for Michael. Um, I've known Michael for many years. Um, he's down in Florida. Yes, that's um, right. Good, good cat. Good Let's guy. play that track. Uh, I've got it right here. It's called Baby Coffee. Uh, this is uh, Michael J. Thomas. Maybe we could get you to do a track for me one of these days, or maybe we could do some collaboration. Up, it might be fun. Yeah, he's worked Call for me up. Yeah, Ollie Silk is available. Great producer, great artist, and uh, my special guest today. This is Michael J. Thomas. Baby Coffee.
special guest uh, on the program today is Ollie Silk. Uh, great track uh, by Michael J. Thomas. Uh, it sounds a little bit like uh, Michael J. Parlett. <laughs> so that's what that, that's, yeah, careful there. Yeah, that was that was kind of what uh, I, I that was what my name was uh, for many years, but nobody could remember it. So in the end, I just changed it to Mike Parlett. That's easy. <laughs> so now what, it's Mike. So you've Parlett. got you, what, what? What's your initial then? Is it J? Yeah, yeah, it is uh, M J P. Ah, oh, yes. gotcha. Uh, so uh, yeah, I got kind of like they used to call me Mike P or M J P. Uh, but now it's just Mike Parlett. And you are listening to the Mike Parlett Radio Show. Uh, my very special guest on the program is Ollie Silk. Great to have you here, Ollie. And uh, thanks for all your insightful comments and uh, great music. Where do you think, I mean, obviously, music now, we, we're not able to get out and uh, do gigs and so forth. Uh, but this is a great way to do it. And actually, you're seeing Ollie playing live on the program and uh, we're kind of jamming away. And that's the way things are happening. Uh, and you've got so many bands now doing kind of virtual online. Uh, kind of v- streaming videos, streaming concerts that people can log on to and watch, uh, not actually be at. Uh, and I think that's the way things are going. Would you agree with that, Ollie? I think I would. I would think that's definitely the way things are going for the time being. I think there's no substitute for being at a gig, though. And uh, you know, I I think everyone's got their fingers crossed that that's going to come back yes. sooner rather than later. Yes. But it's going to be a while, Indeed. probably, uh, which is sad. But I mean, I tell you what, it just it just makes me realize how much I took it for granted, man. Now it's gone because, damn, I miss that. I miss everything about it. I miss playing live. I miss I miss the buzz of the audience and meeting everybody afterwards. And oh, just yeah, I really I really miss it. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to uh, I put up a video last week of me and Vincent and Gala playing uh, playing the new bounce track from the new CD. I'm going to try and uh, get something together, maybe with Jeff Cashua. Um, see if we can get some him um, playing some flute and you, stuff. I've got, I've got to tell you, I'm very, very uh, excited to tell you that Josie James has just called me. She's actually on the line. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to bring her in <laughs> on Skype and you're going to, for the very first time, you're going to get to meet Josie James, the, the one that actually sang Burning Up the Carnival, uh, the original singer of Burning Up the Carnival. Uh, and she's going to come on and talk to us just momentarily. This is the thing we like to do. People just come and pop in and pop out of the Mike Parlett radio show. Awesome. Uh, and, uh, and it's great to have Josie. <laughs> On, she's actually on the other line right now uh, so we're going to bring her in and uh, you're going to be able to talk to her and uh, we'll play a little bit of Burning Up the Carnival your version so she can hear it because I'm, not, I'm even not sure that she's even heard it before maybe not maybe not <laughs> so uh, so Josie's going to join us in, in a few short moments but before we do that I want to play a track off your album uh, This and it's a brand new album it's called uh, Ollie Silk 6 uh, you can hold it up to the, the camera and let everybody see it there it is. It's out right now. Ollie Silk 6. I'll hold it up on mine as well. There you go. Uh, oh, I didn't realise you had one. Yeah, I do. There you go. Nice. When did you get yours? I got mine. Uh, where did I get mine? I got mine a, a, a couple of days ago. From uh, and oh, it's on okay. Trippin and Rhythm. He's got a, you're with Trippin and Rhythm Records as well. So we're I am, and I've been with them for many, many years now. Very, very cool record label. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Inner Vision Records. Uh, my very good friend Adam Leibowitz is listening to the show today, and I also want to say hi to Paul Van der Molen as well. Paul Van der Molen. He's the one that got me all the gigs when I was back in London. Thank you to you, Paul, and so grateful that you can tune into the show today. This is a very cool track, and it's called Hurry Up and Wait. What we always do as musicians, we say hurry up and wait.
special guest on the program today is Ollie Silk, and uh, it's great to have Ollie on the program. And, uh, somebody else that we're going to bring on the program. Uh, and I, I really cannot believe uh, that uh, it's been all this time uh, with uh, the album that came out in uh, 2016, where I left off burning up the carnival. Uh, but uh, indeed, we, uh, we're going to bring on the original singer of Burning Up the Carnival uh, and uh, say hello to uh, Josie James. Josie James, are you there? Yes, I'm there. Hi. There she is. <laughs> great, great to have you on the, on the show, Josie. It's always wonderful to have you on the show. And uh, here we are again. Uh, and uh, you're coming down to us from uh, Laguna Niguel. Uh, what's been going on over there, Josie? Well, uh, I've been, like everybody else, uh, on lockdown, trying to do some other creative things while I'm about. As you know, uh, I was in London back in January doing a gig at the Jazz Cafe with Light of the World uh, with Nigel Martinez, Mar Nigel Martinez. My, yeah. And we had a great time, and as soon as we got back, um, we, we found out that we were under lockdown, so... It's been it's pretty it's been pretty weird, but at any point I've been doing a lot of creative things and you know just trying to keep things together, hoping to go back out on the road again. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's certainly certainly great to uh, have you again on the program, and let me see if we can uh, see if we can get you to talk to Ollie Silk. Ollie, are you still there with us? I'm still here. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Can uh, Josie? Can you hear Ollie? <laughs> yeah. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Josie. Nice to talk to you. Now, just let Same you here. just want to let you know that uh, Josie uh, is the original singer of uh, Burning Up the Carnival. Uh, and, and I cannot believe you guys have never met or never spoken before. <laughs> and I wanted to make that happen. Uh, and here we have today uh, Josie James, uh, the original singer with the Crusaders and Ollie Silk. Uh, did you hear Ollie's version of it, Josie? No, I haven't yet. You know, uh, I was waiting to hear that today. And um and I haven't had a chance to hear it yet. I'm really uh, looking forward to hearing it. Uh, you know, Joe Sample uh, and I did this song together, as you just said, and it was quite a hit for us. And, um, uh, you know, I know a lot of people love that song. Uh, it's been covered before, and so I'd love to hear uh, all these versions. Yeah. Oh, go. bless you, Josie. Thank you. I can't wait for you to hear it. And uh, <laughs> let me just say real quick just how much of uh, – have a – huge influence you have been on my music and gosh i i just love what's the story uh patrice russian like way back um yeah. just from yeah, then on and obviously started. i've got candles uh in my cd collection in in the back there and just oh, thank fabulous. you thank you for the music oh that's wonderful news thank you very much yeah it's great <laughs> to know that i have a, a real fan out there yeah um you know it's been it's been great um i've been blessed with a great musical career with a lot of history and um, to know that you've been influenced by my voice and my music is uh, is a wonderful compliment thank you very much oh no, not at all thank you the pleasure is all mine josie yeah so yeah, uh, so uh are you gonna get i know that we're not able to really tour or work right now but um you know what are you doing to, to actually get uh burning up the carnival out to the public besides the fabulous mike parlette show <laughs> Josie, you're too sweet. Mike, Mike Parlett brings people together. <laughs> he does. He, do, he that's does. That's right. Yeah, that that is very true. Uh, you know, I, I just got to bring myself together. That's what. <laughs> uh, well, you know, Josie, I was saying to Mike earlier that you know I've always loved the tune, but it was only um, I, I heard I heard a couple of different versions of it pop up on my YouTube feed. One with Layla Hathaway singing it um, some years later. And it just really yeah. it, it just reignited my passion for the song itself. And so, you know, I just really wanted to put my own sort of spin on it, but keep keep it keep it as true to the to the and beautiful I've got to tell you as well, uh, Ollie, is. I have to tell you that Josie, you, you, I don't know if you know this, but Josie was one of the main singers uh, for very, very many years with George Duke, uh, your, one of your heroes as well. Uh, and uh, she was the oh, one yeah. that yeah, she was the one that uh, did all the dukey treats, you know, talk to me quick. Say it, Josie, please. I love it when you do that. <laughs> Talk to me quick. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, Dookie Stick and Dookie Treats and all that stuff. And 
the yeah. Crusaders. I think one of the better, one of the best moments doing Burning Up the Carnival was that live version uh, that I recorded with them at the Royal Festival Hall with B.B. King. Um, I, you know, I don't know if you heard that one, Ali, but uh, that was a really good version of it. The original. Oh, version I have, was I have heard that. Yeah, and the, and the and the version of Street Life as well. It was all in, it was all of the same yeah. concert, wasn't it? Well, yeah, that was pretty odd because that was that's how I was able to. Uh, I had gotten a, the Grammy nomination for the very first time was for doing uh, the different version of Street Life at, you know, on that same album. Um, and so B.B. King and I did that together. And uh, next thing we know, it was nominated for a Grammy. So that's really bizarre. But it was great. It was a great, <laughs> a great thing that we did it a different way with a different twist. So let me but, uh... Uh, getting back to... Yeah, go ahead. Let me just play you, play you a little bit of this, Josie, because, you know, I, I can't believe you haven't heard it. So I'm just going to just give you a little, just because we played it earlier on in the show, but I want you to have a listen to this and, you know, see what you think. Here we go. Just a bit of, uh, okay, great. A bit, bit of burning up the carnival. Check it out. Ah. My special guest is Ollie Silk, and we've got Josie James on the line as well. Great to have you. I'm so excited. Down in Rio when I never have they die. I forgot it. Burning up the carnival. Uh, so, Josie, uh, wow, what do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds great. <laughs> you know, it's a, like I said, everybody. It's such a wonderful song, and and it's a great song to sing. And you know, I just uh, I hope you have the very best with it. I mean, we're coming up on the summer, and um, and and I'll be quite honest with you. A little tip is that I'm in the middle of working on my next album myself, and oh. Nigel and I have Burning Up the Carnival on the list. Uh, so, um, you know, I intend to do something about that myself. I mean, uh, I had been thinking about it for a long time, but uh, it's, I've been so busy doing, you know, touring with Britt Bacharach and, and uh, working on my own projects. And then, of course, this whole thing has come along that's changed the world right now. So um, it's kind of stopped certain things. But one thing we can do is write and make music. And so, Ali, I, I congratulate you on the song. It, it sounds great. Um, I hope you have a lot of success with it. Uh, everything about it, is, it sounds really great, the singer, and um, it, it's just wonderful. So, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Josie. It's an absolute pleasure, and I'm glad you got to hear it. And, of course, uh, I have to tell yeah. you that uh, Ollie, Ollie's a huge George Duke fan. In fact, uh, G- George Duke is one of uh, his main influences. Uh, so uh, I-, I want to just at this point just do a little tribute to George Duke and play a song which I know he and I love this, and, of course, featuring you, and it's uh, Dukey Stick. Uh, we've got to play okay, that. Okay, fabulous. Is that, is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me Oh, yeah. Quick. Talk to me quick. That's Talk right. Talk to me quick, baby. Yes, indeed. Uh, my special guest, Josie Jones. Thank you so much for joining us, Josie. A little cameo appearance there, but uh, we're going to. Ha- Josie's a regular co- contributor to the program, and it's great to have you. Love to you and Nigel, Josie, and of course Marlon, yeah. uh, rising star bass player. Great, great future ahead of him as well. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll talk to you soon. That will All right. Thank you for having me on the air. Thank you very much. Very welcome. God bless everybody. God bless you, Josie. You be safe. All right. You too. We got this thing.
is full of magic tricks. So come feel if you will the magic of the stick. Play Baba. Hey. Feel a thrill. Funky in the dark. Uh, I've got this a magic wand that's guaranteed to make you come to me, baby. To set yourself free. Wait, the joke is this. My magic wand can do almost anything. Spitting fire, making rain. But most of all, it can make you spread your wings and fly away. Talk to me quick. Let me know. Let me know, baby. Talk to me quick. <laughs> Hi, this is Josie James, Soul and Jazz with Mike Parlett in the chair. That's me. Uh, great to uh, have Josie on the program. Uh, we did uh, give a little bit of short notice, but uh, very nice to, to have her uh, come and join us. Uh, and uh, that was Josie James. I, uh, I'm absolutely amazed that you have never had the opportunity to meet her, and I'm very glad that we made that put that to rights today. My yeah, man. Yeah, my that special. That's cool. Well, I hope I can see her in person one day. That'd yeah. be nice. Yeah, I maybe told, jam with her. Yeah, I told you. I told him you you were uh, like a, you know funky white boy like me, and uh, <laughs> yeah, and a uh, big George Duke <laughs> proponent. And uh, she said, "I'm going to check him out." I'm going to check that guy out, she said. <laughs> so, <laughs> so okay. you never know. You might be getting a call from uh, Nigel and Josie when they come over to the UK to come and play for them. So, uh, yeah, that would be nice. Uh, great. Indeed. Uh, we're going to go back to you. Uh, one more, We're going to play one more song before we let you go. And uh, But uh, don't forget, if you want to see this show, uh, you can uh, log on to our Mixcloud page. It's well, actually, uh, the Solar Radio group page. We are streaming to you live, and it'll be up on my YouTube page and my personal YouTube, uh, 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 Facebook page as well. And in Ollie, it'll be on yours as well because we're going to share it to your page. So if you didn't get to see this show live, uh, you can watch it afterwards and uh, see Ollie playing live as he does there. There he is. He's on the, p the piano right now. Give us a little tinkle just to prove it. Uh -huh. He is going to play. Oh, there's nothing coming out. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, that's because we, we logged off for session wire. Let's get you back on again. Hang on. This We'll, we'll fix that. We'll fix that. Uh, answer your <laughs> session wire. Turn your session wire on. Ollie? It's on. It's on, isn't it? No, no, we uh, we lost you. Oh, did we did we did we, uh, it, it did we go away from yeah, we session went wire? Away. Yes, we did. So. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. Now we're back on session wire. All right. Give us a little, give us a little tinkle. Yeah, man. Do you want me to play another song, or are we are we, uh, we done, or what? Yeah, you want to play another song? Can you play another one for us? I think I think so. We I just was gonna, I was time. actually going to do burning up the carnival, but we don't want to hear it a third time. So let's uh, let's do. Um, yeah, I've got. I I think I can. I think I can do one. I'm going to do a track called All We Need, which is uh, which is off my third CD. All okay. We Need. Very nice. Here we go. Okay. I haven't played this for a while, so apologies. Here we go. Special guest of the program today, Ollie Silk, playing live right here on Solar Radio, your classic 21st century soul station. music 
Uh, by virtue of a session why I want to give a big shout out to the guys Kevin Williams uh, Robin Lebeau and all the team at session why thank you so much for bringing us this great platform uh, th which enables you to hear Ollie Silk playing live uh, on the program uh, over session why if you want to find out more about session why go to sessionwire.com uh, and if you're a musician or you're a producer this is definitely the way we've been going I've been doing a lot of production work over the last couple of years working with session why uh, my special guest, Ollie Silk, in the house today. We want to bring uh, Nick Hall on. Thank you for joining us, Ollie. Uh, and uh, he's going to talk to us and uh, come on and say hello. He's been running the whole show. Excellent. <laughs> no problem. Uh, he's uh, he's going to be, be coming, joining us momentarily. Uh, before that, we're going to play one more song from the new album, Ollie, and it's going to be one of your choice. What would you like to play? Um, you know what? Let's play These Are The Good Old Days. Oh yeah, I love that song. Uh, this yeah, is so like, this is uh, yeah. this is slightly different for me. This is a this is a little bit more out there. Uh, I managed to uh, I managed to get Ash Sone on this one on drums, so um, it's kind of an all UK affair. But uh, yeah, it's 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 kind of a cool it's a cool old school vibe. Yeah, and say hello to uh, our, our the tech guy. Um, this is the, the tech manager here at Tamsin Productions, and he's doing, running the whole show from his car. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Nick. How are you? <laughs> Nick Hall on the line. Hey, how are you doing, Nick? Hey, how are you doing, Nick? Hey, guys. Nice to see you. Uh, sounding good over here. Yeah. Great. Good. <laughs> I'm really pleased. He, he's literally, I, I'm telling you, listeners, he's literally running the show from his car remotely. Uh, and um, you know, there's a little bit of science to that, how it's working. But uh, he is running the show uh, from the car. And uh, we won't tell you how, but uh, if you want to know a little bit more, get in touch with us here. Uh, my email address is mike at talentedstudios.com. If you want us to handle your streaming, we can do it right here. I'm hearing myself echo back there. Yeah, of course. Uh, and uh, yeah. it's very, very cool indeed uh, the way we can do this. Uh, so we have a streaming platform. If you want to stream your music or if any of your content, we can do it for you right here uh, to multiple platforms. Uh, and uh, we've got, got um, we've been developing this over the well, last, maybe last year or so. Uh, but we've got it going on and it's pretty solid. Uh, Nick, what's been going on over there, my man? Well, we were in West Hills and we couldn't come home because of a curfew that seemed to get started. I don't know why that had to happen, but it's why I'm out here at a park, actually, uh, remoting and controlling the studio with you. Uh, we're pulling it off. I know it's tough, but uh, wow, I get to still enjoy a great show from anywhere. Uh, so thanks, guys, for doing this with me. Yes, indeed. Uh, so subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, it's on uh, my YouTube site uh, and, of course, on our talented productions here. Uh, if you would like us to help you, we can do that. Uh, and uh, my special guest today has been Ollie Silk. Uh, we've got about another few minutes of the show. But before we take you out, uh, make, make sure you check out Ollie's new album. It's called uh, Six. And it looks like this. Yes, we're holding it up for you. Uh, it's called Six. And uh, it's a great album. So we're going to just play this for you. A uh, little bit of an edgy song for you, Ollie. <laughs> I don't know if edgy is the right word, but, you know, it's influenced by some old, kind of the 70s sound, I guess. Yeah, that's what we, I love that. Absolutely fantastic. We're here each and every week with the Mike Parlett Radio Show here on Solar Radio, your classic 21st century, century soul station. We've got Peter Smedley coming up with the Soul Vibration Show uh, very, very soon. But we'll be back with another special guest next week. We've got a few more minutes of this and we're going to say goodbye to Ollie. Thanks for joining us, Ollie. Pleasure, pleasure.
Healthy Music with Mark Parlett. Mike Parlett Radio Show. Uh, you've been listening to my special guest today, the amazing Mr. Ollie Silk. Thank you and very much, Mike. Thank you for joining us, Ollie, and uh, it's been great having you on the program. Uh, don't forget, if you want to get a copy of his album, it is available. You can get it on all the good record stores and all the places that uh, you normally buy great music. The album is called Six. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ollie. You've been my special guest and uh, great to have you here. Don't forget, you can uh, watch our, the video cast anytime you like. Uh, it's go to my YouTube page. Uh, it's Mike Parlett on YouTube. And of course, uh, go to our Solar Radio group page. It'll be up there and on all our other streaming platforms. Uh, we'll be back next week with another special guest. I'm going to let you know who it is later on in the week. Uh, keep watching our uh, video stream here and of course, subscribe to our page. It's... Mike Parlett's my YouTube page and of course the Mike Parlett Radio Show and of course we also upload our shows as a podcast to Mixcloud each week go to mixcloud.com if you just want to get a nice copy of the audio uh, which you can get free of charge each week Mike I've been Mike Parlett my special guest has been Ollie Silk thanks once again Ollie for joining us thanks everybody thanks for listening and thank you very much Mike and Nick great show Thank you. And uh, as you can see, uh, Nick, is, <laughs> Nick is still out in the park. He's in the park, literally. Uh, just And if you don't believe it, he's running the show from the park. <laughs> quickly, quickly give them a quick view of that, Nick, just so that everybody's jealous. Yeah, there he is. He's in the park. Can you believe it? And he's, he's literally running all the show, doing all the camera switches and everything from the park. And if we... We can do that for you, mobile. So we can, uh, you know, wherever you are, we can run your video streaming all wherever you are. We could be on a beach in Bermuda and be doing it for you. So that's the plan. That is the plan. <laughs> the Mike Parlage Radio Show. We've got Peter Smedley coming up in a few seconds. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you keep your dial firmly tuned to Solar Radio. God bless you and stay safe. We'll see you next week for another Mike Parlett Radio Show. Thank you so much. Side to my friend, my lover and my guide. Oh, baby, don't keep running. My heart is yearning for your love. My heart. Sorry.